everybody? How's everybody doing? Me? Uh, not too good. I got food poisoning the other day. And I'm still recovering. No, it wasn't from meat. It was some moldy sauerkraut that did me in. Totally my fault. I thought I was going to die. But I'll be alright. Anyway, suffice it to say, I'm never, ever eating sauerkraut ever again. Just a, a good general rule. Anyway, I was checking out this video from Henshaw Ruvor. You know, that big, burly, effeminate guy from uh, somewhere in England, I think. And um, he was making this very colorful salad as a vegan personal trainer, nutritionist, whatever else he calls himself. And he was talking about all the fat soluble vitamins in his salad. So I asked him what fat soluble vitamins are there in these leafy greens that you're eating. And he said most of them. Well, the reason why I asked the question is because I knew there's hardly any fat soluble vitamins in his salad and I wanted to talk about that a little bit. So the fat soluble vitamins are A, D, E, and K. Right off the bat there's no significant amount of vitamin D in any plants. So that one's off the table, we're down to three. There is beta carotene in his salad which isn't vitamin A. It's not your body has to convert beta carotene to retinol and according to science out there the conversion is roughly 12 to 1 so for every 1 microgram of retinol you need roughly 12 micrograms of beta carotene I don't know what the side effects of this conversion are but there's no vitamin A in any uh, vegetables. That's a fact. And retinol is much easier absorbed by our bodies and plentiful in animal-based foods because to us, because we are carnivores. Okay? That's why. We're obligate carnivores. We have to eat animal products, meat, in order to meet our nutritional requirements. Obligate carnivores. In order to thrive, we have to eat animal products. Okay, That's just one of many proofs out there. Vitamin A, beta carotene. Now, there's also vitamin K1 and vitamin K2. K1 being available, I believe that's the one that's available in plants. And K2 is the one found in animal products and fermented foods. Some plant fermented foods also, but you gotta ferment them, right? Now, the absorption rates are also questionable from the plant based K1 vitamin because it's not the same. I forget what, it's a similar conversion rate to beta carotene and retinol. You could go check out this article. I don't want to make this video too long. But, you know, this article tells you if you're deficient in vitamin K, try natto, which is a fermented soybean product. Eggs, cheese, dark meat, chicken. Vitamin K2, reading from the article, may be absorbed better by the body and some forms may stay in the blood longer than vitamin K1. These two things may cause K1 and K2 to have different effects on your health. Vitamin K likely plays an important role in blood clotting, promoting good heart and bone health. So on and so forth. So K2 seems like the 
better version of the vitamin for us and it once again comes from animals and it's important when it comes to heart health perhaps a contributing factor to why vegans have um, if you know lifelong vegans die of heart disease why these high carbers that don't eat um, don't eat any animal products have heart disease could be no it's all the bad meat so yeah there's some vitamin K in these leafy greens not much actually because he didn't have any spinach kale collard greens or turnip greens he didn't have any of those so he didn't really get any vitamin K from his leafy greens so that one's off the table too and we're down to vitamin E now even though it seems like on average animal foods are richer in vitamin E and they don't come with all these anti-nutrients which prevent the absorption of nutrients uh, paper values seem at least as good when it comes to animal products as they are when it comes to wheat germ oil processed food that without industry is not possible <clears throat> sunflower seeds that only occur for about a month each year so not very good source of vitamin E in nature almonds only grow in one part of the world and come with their own anti-nutrient problems hazelnut oil product of the industry mame sapote probably only available in South America sunflower oil industrial product almond oil industrial product hazelnuts full of anti-nutrients uh, but a good amount of vitamin E available only in certain parts of the world uh, abalone I think is a snail pine nuts uh, I mean come on really you're gonna go crack pine cones to get your vitamin E I don't think so anyway it's plentiful in seafood fish vitamin E and if you watch Frank Tufano's video on vitamin content in meat you'll see that there are other foods which aren't listed here animal products that have plenty of vitamin E in them so at the very best out of A, D, E, and K, hench herbivore got vitamin E. Ab absorption rates are questionable. Uh, it's not the best form of vitamin E. Oh no, sorry, with vitamin E, that's pretty much equal, I guess. But uh, a lot of the plants come with anti nutrients. So as I was reading this article, it was talking about how more studies basically need to be done in order for us to really get down to the bottom of this but at the very best he got vitamin E except I don't think he did because he didn't have any spinach or you know turnip greens or whatever else it was that was high in vitamin E so he didn't actually get any fat soluble v vitamins in his greens while promoting you know the healthfulness of the salad and and how vitamin rich it is so on and so forth while calling himself a personal trainer and pushing this idea that he knows nutrition. But this is the problem with this vegan community. They're either uneducated or they're woefully misrepresenting the nutritional values of the vegan diet, essentially lying to you. There's no excuse for this. And that's how they help promote and push a nutrient deficient diet. All right. And one last thing about vitamin, daily vitamin requirements. Um, because certain animal foods are not very high in vitamin C for example well these daily recommended values are based on observational studies of carb burners if you eat an animal based diet you're a fat burner and we know at least insofar as vitamin C that if you if you're a fat burner you don't need as much vitamin C we know this <clears throat> so is this true for other vitamins perhaps I don't know but I just wanted to make this real quick video show you how 
Well, vegans just lie. They lie and lie and lie because their motivation for pushing the vegan diet has nothing to do with health. It's not a healthful diet. And whether you like it or not, you're a carnivore. Thanks for listening.